Welcome to Mint Canvas Studio. Today I'll show you our new inventory tracker, perfect for small businesses that sell finished products. Designed with busy entrepreneurs in mind, this tool will keep track of your orders and current inventory, giving you ease of mind. Let me give you a quick tour of the template to show all its cool features. As usual with our templates, the only editable cells are the ones with a white background. The colored cells hold formulas and are automated. The only exception is the invoice generator page. Since that page is printable, we decided to keep the background white. To prevent deleting formulas, we lock the page. But let's start from the beginning. The first page contains the instructions and the link to this video. If you don't need the page anymore, click the arrow beside the name and select Hide Sheet. Now you can start personalizing the template on the setup page. Let's begin by inputting the company's information, so write down your name, your company name, the address, and so forth. The table below contains the payment details. Write your bank name, PayPal if you're using this or a similar service, the recipient's name, and the account number. We left some space if you want to add other important notes or information. This information will automatically fill the invoice at the end, without requiring you to do it manually. You will then select your currency. So this template works with every currency. Just input the symbol in the white cell and all the other tabs will adapt accordingly. Now it's time to add your taxes. You can combine all your taxes or write up to three different percentages. If your products have different taxes or your clients are international, you can personalize the percentages here. If you need more space, do let us know. We leave the dashboard at the end and move on to the next page. The product list page is the only page you can fully edit. This page will keep track of all the items you sell. Write all of the names and their SKUs to avoid errors. If you accidentally write the same SKU in the corresponding column, these cells will turn red, letting you know there is a mistake. You will then input the unit in which you sell, the unit price, your minimum inventory and the starting inventory. If you don't have any, write zero. The last column holds your notes. You can write which is your best selling items, for example. The table has space for 200 products. Now let's move on to the customer tracker page, where you write your customer's information. If you're a supplier, this will help you remember all your clients' data. This table is divided into two. One part with a white background is fully editable. The other with a colored background is automated. The first part will hold the customer's name, company name, address, city, state or province, zip code and country. You can also add their email and phone number. This will help you quickly fill the orders and automate the invoices. The second part of the table, the automated one, will show you how many orders each client made, how much they spent and when the last order was placed. Moving on, we have the inventory tracker, where you'll keep track of all the restocks and reorders for each product. As you can see, we have two big main tables, one for inventory and one for reorders. The stock inventory table is automated. The items and their SKUs will appear automatically. It will show you how many items you've sold, the income generated, the restock cost, and the current inventory with the restock added. It will also remind you of your minimum inventory and calculate if you need to reorder an item. The status column is automated and will change based on your inventory levels. The inventory re reorder table allows you to reorder your low or out of stock items. Choose the SKUs from the drop down table and the product's name will automatically appear. Write down the supplier, the quantity you need, and the cost per item. The spreadsheet will calculate the order value. Then write the date you issued the order and update the status. This drop down has three options shipped, ordered and arrived. Once you select the arrived option, the number of items will automatically add to your inventory in the other table and the status will change accordingly. If you have more than the minimum inventory, the status will say in stock. But if you have a number too close to the minimum, the status will change to low stock. It will tell you to reorder if you reach the minimum quota or below. If your number is zero, the status will change to out of stock. At the top left corner of the page, a fixed menu will let you know how many items are in stock, how many you need to reorder, how many are low in stock, and how many are completely out of stock. The order tracker is a big table where you write down your orders. 
Start by writing down the, your invoice number. This part of the sheet will follow you as you fill in the information. From the drop-down, choose the customer and the issue date. Add the due date, then leave the colored cells and move on to the next section of the page. Once you've filled in all the items information, go back to the beginning and you'll see that the colored cells will tell you how much the client should pay. It will also tell you how much they owe you in taxes and the total amount of the order. Once they start paying, the status column will automatically change. In this white cell, write down how much they paid you. If they give you the total amount, that status will, will say paid. If they give you a portion, it will say partially paid. And if they give you more, the status will say overpaid. And you can decide if the client needs a refund or not. Before they start paying, as you can see, the status will say unpaid. If an order is cancelled, you mark it as such by clicking the checkbox and the amount will be erased from your profit and item sold on the inventory tracker page. Each order is filled by row. You start by writing the name of your item and selecting the tax. The unit price will appear automatically. Add your quantity and the rest of the cells will automatically fill in. Now move on to the next item. There is space for up to 10 items. The information you input in this table will add up to the previous one, letting you know the total value of each order. Next, we have the Invoice Generator page. It allows you to print your invoices without filling them manually. This page will grab data from all the different tabs and help you prepare the invoices with a single step. This page has a white background, but you don't need to edit anything. The only cell you can edit is the one holding the invoice number. Choose it from the drop-down and all the information will appear. The customer's name and address, your data and the payment details are all automated. Each item has the price per unit, the unit, the quantity and the total cost. Below the item table, you will see your subtotal with the taxes and the total due. All the payment details are highlighted below. Since this page has a white background but is filled with formulas, it is locked. You can't modify this page without an error message popping up. To change the logo, for example, you can go to the menu and click Insert, then Image, and select Insert Image over Cells. After the error message appears, click OK, and you'll be able to move your logo around and place it. To print this page, go to File and select Print. If you prefer using Canva to fill in your invoices, we prepared a similar template which you can download. Now it's time to return to the dashboard page, right after the setup. This page will be useful after you use the spreadsheet for a few months. The dashboard holds the annual overview of your business. In the white cells, you write the year and select the starting month. All the information will appear on the screen and the graphs will change accordingly. If you use this spreadsheet for multiple years, you'll only get an annual overview. You can duplicate and change the year to see and compare with the previous one. The main table will tell you how many invoices you received each month, how many are paid, unpaid or partially paid, and the total amount of your orders. It will also let you know how much you were paid and how much is left to pay. It will also show your average order value for each month, the restock cost, the profit, and the profit margin. The second part of your dashboard will show you three best-selling items and your top three best-selling months based on the number of, your in of invoices. There is also an item overview, a table that shows all the information of your items based on the inventory tracker. Just select the item from the drop-down menu and see how the table changes. You are also able to see the item's restock status and the invoice status. Finally, we added a to-do section where you can write down all the important steps or goals for your business. The checkbox will allow you to see which to-dos are completed and which ones need to be finished. We hope you've enjoyed the walkthrough of our new inventory tracker. Do let us know if you already use something similar in your business and share with us the type of business you do in the comments. We'd love to know. Thank you so much for watching and happy planning!